All right, we had a broody hen that I found in the garbage can. It was actually, the, I believe, the day after the last broody hen started. And so I moved her into the piano room here, and she hatched out several, uh, several chicks. So they are one day basically older than the last batch. And I believe there are eight in there. There were nine hatched out. And uh, one of them um, just couldn't walk. It just, it, it, like, it, it didn't know how to balance itself upright. And so um, I actually uh, tried to work with it a little bit. So one of the chicks is uh, having trouble with the walking aspect of things. We tried putting on a... Uh, it just won't do it. We tried putting on the uh, sh little sh binders and uh, that didn't seem to help so we've been trying a few things. So I thought I would document that and uh, and see if uh, it ends up progressing to where it can maybe walk at one point. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I thought I would make a little track to try and teach it how to run or walk. But it, uh, it would fall forward and backwards. So I, uh, I blocked I blocked it in here and have just sort of been letting it try to learn how to stand if possible. It would fall forward, it would fall backward, and then end up on its back. And then, you know, I mean, I can't monitor this obviously 24-7, so it would come back and it might be on its... Well, actually, it'd, yeah, it might be on its back or... we see it, you know, or it would not even stand that long and just fall forward and back. So, I blocked it in and this just seemed to work fairly well. It, it gets out sometimes. Uh, but, um, so, uh, we did, uh, oh, there's, it's working, trying to get through. So, uh, we'll see how standing goes, and then maybe, uh, when it gets, if it gets good enough of that, we can have it walk down the track. Put her back in, or put it back in. Come on now, stand there for a minute. There you go. There you go. Alright. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is the next day. After, after spent a lot of the day standing in the little cubby, thought, it would, thought I'd try the track again. And it seems to be uh, doing better. I mean, it, it, it fell forward once so far, and, and I was here. And uh, I, I've thrown some crumbles in there, and it, it was pecking at them. And so, uh, without falling forward, which is a better sign, sometimes it runs backwards and hits the uh, you know hits the little board behind it, but uh, hasn't fallen over backwards. And it was doing that yesterday too. So, I'm trying to see if it'll uh, you know start to maybe take some some. <laughs> steps through its little training wheel path here. So, we'll see if uh, this ends up working. We're feeding it milk. So we've been feeding it uh, goat milk to try and keep it alive so you can get to this point. It's got a lot of spunk. See it's a little squirt how it does here with its little track. And maybe eating a little bit too. But, uh, in the end, sadly, the little one, I, um, I tried to give it milk and stuff, and it made it almost a week or so, and, but then it ended up not making it. But one thing I, I noticed with it uh, is even though it would, uh, it would walk out of the, the little walkway, uh, I would leave it in the walkway, and then I'd come back, and the little thing had crawled through the through the chicken wire here 
and gone into, <laughs> through the one inch chicken wire, and gone into the little area, I assume, to be with its, its mother. And so it responded to, uh, it seemed like it was responding to its mom's call and just tried anything to get to be, <coughs> get to be with her. So it's my prayer that we strive after Christ Jesus in the same way. So it was uh, uh, something of a little inspiration um, with that little uh, crippled chick trying to get to be with his mother. So, but um, the other eight have uh, made it thus far and look pretty good. Starting to get pretty big. I assume at some point we will be moving them and the, uh, that last batch together out into the pen area, probably removing the mothers so they can all start to grow up together and hopefully have a little bit more of a natural environment. A little skittish here because I don't know what, what to do with them filming here. I'm going to move around a little bit. Okay, let's see. Anyway. Alright, you guys. And so, once again, we are very grateful to the Lord for granting the provisions of this uh, next batch of chickens. <laughs> I believe she's a game hen. They were the original ones before the ostrilope started happening. Uh, the game hens uh, sat pretty well. So, At any rate, uh, again, we thank the Lord for the provisions of these new chicks. May they be used for His glory and the benefit of His church in whatever way He might have. <laughs>